Hey guys, it's Bano. Welcome. Oh gosh. Welcome back to Hexen. In the last part, we got up to the fourth hub called the Castle of Grief. Now, a bit of a meta game thing. Oh, I'm recording this after I finish recording the entirety of Doom 3. Like, the entirety. All of it. And we've got to deal with guys just shooting us from all over. Oh gosh. I didn't see you there. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't see you. We gotta deal with guys shooting us from all over the place. Um. So, yep. But, it's not that bad. First of all, this is water, not swamp. But that doesn't stop those guys, apparently. Get out of here! I wanna get that. I, wa I wanna get the mana. Okay, well, I guess I'm never getting mana. Also, yeah, you'll note that I'm shooting guys from all over the place, apparently, because my projectiles keep aiming upward. Okay, I killed one. I'm gonna want to kill that guy. Okay, well, I got that guy. I'm pretty happy. Take some health. For no reason. Also, by the way, there's wizards up there, which is why... You know, attacks coming down here. Did I, did I kill all the guys in this lake? Maybe this isn't the best spot because. It's just kind of stand. Okay, well, anyway. <laughs> enough about just walking around the, the bottom. How come, How about. Not how come, but how about. Go over here. Pull the switch. Get rewarded by that guy, but that's okay. And then when I. Yeah, there's one on the other side. Huh. Just did that just so he could do that. <laughs> it's like, oh wait a minute, he's gonna he's gonna stand in the spot. He's about to stand in the spot, guys. Yeah. So anyway, the Castle of Grief is a bit of an interesting area just because it's a it's a bit of a cluster of buildings everywhere. And considering it's the it's the classic Doom engine, it's it's kinda intriguing that they've managed to make quite a convincing car quite a convincing castle area without needing overlapping uh, bits of ground. I think that's just a genius of the Dimension. How, even though you can't have overlapping bits of ground because that just doesn't work with the engine. Also, do you dare stand on that? <coughs> nah. Or at least I don't. Um, also, there's yeah, there's a lot of enemies in this in this map. Also, there's those. You might want to watch out. Also, there's wizards. Wizards, no problem. The wizards are just like, if you can't hit them, then that's the problem. Because they don't deal much damage, and honestly, they're pretty easy to take down if you can punch them. Also, yeah, you want to dodge that, because otherwise, this guy comes up. <laughs> no, no. You want you to grab that, you wanted to grab that because I think that's a key to get into one of the areas. i use one of my potions. I believe that area will open up at some point, but other than that, yeah, just run through that, because that will just... Constantly start going. Also, by the way, there's a switch on that. Does that lower the platforms? I don't know if it lowers the plat platforms specifically. No, I think it does something else. Because if it if it stays active, then it's definitely a passive ability. It's a passive thing, not just a direct switch. Always note that while well, when you're activating switches. If it stays on, then it's usually something either something that should always stay there. If if it doesn't stay there, stay on, then it's usually something in the immediate area that needs to be activated for a short amount of time, either like a time challenge or something, and you should be able to notice what's going on. By the way, yeah, you'll find a lot of enemies. Not necessarily difficult enemies. Just a lot of enemies. You also see that I'll be shooting them a lot. Aha, now this is... I believe a nice puzzle. You'll see that there's symbols on top of them. And there's a clock, which actually has the hand sticking out, which is very cool of them. And you can't actually jump into the area, it's kind of weird. But, you'll be able to slot in the cogs as you get them. Now, there's three cogs. 
Well, there's four cogs. One of them was in here. I, I believe maybe the other cogs were in the other maps of this, because this is a hub. Can you believe it? It really doesn't seem like a hub, because it definitely seems like just one large area. But believe it or not, there are actual levels hidden in this place, which is pretty cool. I, and this is where some of the game design really shines. I think that just the design of this game is really good. Oh, here's a guy over here. Credits you for getting that. Like, yes, the, the game design is centered around just being able to spot every single thing ever in the game, and it doesn't even count them for you, because it doesn't come up in the secrets, you know? They don't document any secrets, so... But yeah, you'll always be noting that the switches that you can push everywhere around. Now, we'll be able to actually go up onto the, onto the towers. And you can tell that a lot of this is just... Uh, it's kind of odd because, you know, they've got to make the indoor area while all the inside the courtyard area without completely alienating you. Actually, you know what? If I can hit him with oh crap. See I can hit him with like two and one and something. Okay, now you wanna make sure that you don't fall. But you can jump out of these areas. Okay? Just just note that. You wanna make sure that you push the switches. Well, there are four of these areas, all of them have a switch like that. Also, the enemies will respawn. This area is so large that that will just never, never really happen. Technically, that will kill pretty much most of the enemies as well. Apparently, that doesn't take him out. Go, die, die. Go, die, die. Zap some health. Um, there you go, so that's two of them. Now again, yeah, don't stand in the middles. You'll die kind of painfully. Yeah, now we're up here. Now, I believe with a sprint you can jump over. But of course, you know, there's lifts on either side, so you're not restricted at all. I have a lot of mana somehow. Hey, it's good, now we're not running out of mana. That guy's just having a fun time by himself. It's kind of awkward how this guy's in a pit. Usually, if you're the fighter, you, you literally will just go here, punch him, punch him, punch him, and that's it. But for this guy, for these guys, nah, you can't really do that. Also, there's an amulet of warning. So, yeah, you may be going kind of where are we going? That's pretty interesting, because, yeah, this is a very complex map. Did I say that? Oh, oh, I got hit by that guy down there. Oh, there's a button down there. Dang it. I would like to hit that button. Ouch. Ouch. All these guys are- Oh, crap. Quick! Oof. God, goodness, that worked. It worked. I wasn't expecting so many guys to come up. I thought it was just the one, but... Yeah. So anyway, we activate all the thingos, and I probably don't can't count, can I? Yeah, there's six of them. Such a good attack, though, because it pretty much takes out anyone you want. If you want to take out like the guy across the street, yeah, you can do that. If I go back over here... 
Yeah, there was one right there. There's a building right here. I don't know. I was about to say, I don't really know how to get into it, but it's... Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. I thought they would do that. <laughs> it's a little bit dark, but that's okay. Because I don't need a flashlight. Actually, this game does expect it to get too dark. Because why would they put the torch in the game if it doesn't get too dark? There's no point. Oh yeah, that was a switch a bit earlier. But um, anyway, we're going on with the dog thing goes. Yeah, that's how you take them out. Uh. Get one of the cogs from up there, and I thought so. Right. <laughs> Holy snap, I just used all my purple potions. Uh, what have I got? I've got this. I've also got two of the thing eyes, and there was definitely one of the push buttons on this side. I don't know where exactly, but it was another button that I could press somewhere around here while getting lost in the process. There definitely is a There definitely is a button somewhere. Was that the only one, or I'm pretty sure there was more? Because I definitely did go around this side. There's lots of discs of repulsion. I didn't really go around this side, no. Other than that, though, you'll pretty much be clearing off this entire place, because. There's only one more. That, that might be that last button. But yeah, you basically see how I've pretty much explored the entire place. That's my point with this map. This map, you kind of clear it all in one go. I don't know, this is a bridging. I think this is actually a bridging place. Also, there's a portal, so that'll lead out. But I think you can probably get some nice stuff if you deliver all the cogs. Maybe it's actually a secret level. I remember doing this one a bit earlier. Maybe because it's probably the, mo the more obvious of all the secret levels. Okay, which one's the place where you put the thingy? Yeah, here it is. So there's one. I still don't have that one though. It's probably back in the center there. And the thingos would have gone down. Yeah, the thingos went down. Take them out the easy way. The cheap way, maybe, if you would like to call that. So I'm gonna get that, and that's it, pretty much. Although you can see that there's something up there. You may be wondering how do you get up there. And I don't... I don't have anything to fly, unfortunately. I don't have my flying stuff, so... I don't exactly know how you get up there, but... We'll, we'll just figure that out. We'll figure that out, maybe later. Or maybe later, I mean... Sometime. Sometime much later. That's kind of weird how it connects onto it like that. There you go. You do all that. Platform is lowered in the tower. Oh, that may have been the thing. That may be the, the. Yeah, there you go. That was it. You got a dark servant. Let's go back up. Because it definitely looks like there's something up the top. There you go. This may be a secret map. Give it. I think it probably is. I think I actually even went to this map. 
But, like, come on, that is probably, probably the most obvious of all the secret maps then, because it's literally, like, right there. I like how you kind of, like, come out of a similar looking place. But there's also a portal there, so... Who knows what this place is for. Maybe this is the way you go, or maybe it's... Secret Passage. Either way, I am quite low on... Well, also, you need the axe key. I remember this place. This place was pretty annoying. It involved quite a lot of weird puzzles. Oh, no, I exploded. Said he. I will get him. Ah, I fell over. I will get him. Ah, I fell over. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time on Hexen. We'll explore the gibbet.